Hello everybody. I uh, wanted to get a recirculating deep water culture system. I already have an NFT system for my lettuce back there. But to grow these, you need a deep water culture. I looked around and the prices were you know, a thousand and up. So I wanted to see how much it will cost me to build one myself. And it cost me about $200, a little less. Yeah, should be about the same price for everybody. Got most of the parts from Lowe's. So I wanted to show you guys how I build it, what I did, what you need to do, and what changes you should make. So here they are. There's uh, three, five of them right now growing in there. And this is my setup. So let me give you guys a quick tour and show you guys what I did. So let's start. Sorry for the video. Let's start with the water reservoir over here. Bought a 30 gallon tote right here from Lowe's. I think it's like $30 or something. Let me open it up. All right, got a water pump in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Comes up, half an inch pipe. I have a union over here, just in case I want to disconnect this and take this whole thing back. Comes down. Got a little on-off valve over here for a couple of reasons and I'll explain to you later but right now I use it to reduce the water flow so it'll be less water inside of these so the roots can have some space for extra air so the water comes down tees off goes in from the bottoms over there actually let me show it to you more closely so something like this goes in from here and then comes out the water comes out from here give you a better idea let's open one of these empty ones that's what it looks like so the water fills in from the bottom goes out the top I use rubber grommets I list all the prices and all the stuff you're gonna need on the bottom of the video so you guys can build one yourself so this is this very simple comes at the end the return lines are capped off at the end but the water I made it loop just in case we have a clog on one side doesn't affect the other side and you can see I have a new one growing lift it air stone inside here's my that's where my air pump lives right now yeah I know I could put a nicer box but it is where it is for now and comes all the way back to here one thing that I would recommend to do different is I'm gonna do this later is I'm gonna put a clean out valve over here somewhere put a T put a cap on it so I could open it and be able to close the close the water from here and then pump water from here to go in and empty out the buckets clean it out right now I just do it manually so that's how it works so far let's see what else uh, that's that the pumps on 24 hours this part's very important to come from the top the going part has to come up like this and go down just as just in case if my pump fails what will happen is the minimum water level will be here which is higher than the return I mean the return over here this the, this part's higher than this which means the lowest level of water you'll have in here is about this much. As long as uh, well, the right, air stones are okay, or they're, even if the air stone goes out, you have enough time to take care of them. They'll be in water, they won't be dry, and nothing should happen to them, hopefully, until you fix it. And uh, this is how the water returns back in here. Let's see, what else? Uh, nothing fancy. So... One thing I would do really different is I would stay away from the plastic PVC pipes. Next time I build one, I'm going to build it with uh, flexible ones like these over here. Uh, I find it much easier to have it go in the rubber grommet, much more stable. I had actually a bucket or so that cracked doing this and they leak. I fixed all my leaks. I have zero leaks, but just in case. Anyway, if you guys wanted to see how to build it, this is how it is. So I used 
half inch pipe for the inline for the feed this bottom one and a three-quarter return and I want to open one and show it to you guys sorry for the video quality guys using my cell phone here and it sucks uh, it's a bad video but anyway you guys get the point I guess so six buckets six inch net cups some beautiful plants growing on it in the sun and it cost me I think about they did the math about $30 a month to run it and I'm talking about with the with the nutrients also it's about three three to five dollars a month for electricity the rest sun takes care of it um, that's it if you have any questions post it on the bottom of the video I'll try to help you out oh one more thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this out to maybe all the way here just so I could have the water filling behind the pump where it's sucking it in from I feel like this parts not circulating too well what else I'm gonna do is I already bought it I just got installed it I'm gonna put one more cheap like I don't know seven dollar water pump inside and just have it and just have it circulate the water non-stop 24 hours a day that will help the nutrients always be mixed properly even though it is circulating it back and forth should be mixed but to just give it more mix I would recommend also adding air stones in here even though every single one of mine have a very big air stone in them let me close this out and uh yeah that's it and then uh just to add it into the video that's my little nft channels for growing lettuce same concept water comes up fills in here i have a different video on how to build this one but it's pretty much the same concept also one more thing in the next time i build it i won't be buying any more craftsman totes they seem to bulge they can't hold the water very well okay versus those tough ones i think they cuff tough something they're pretty stable and strong i have a few of those they work great and uh what else i did over here as you can notice my zip tie work over here is because the wind was knocking them over i zip tied the top to the bucket and then from the this to the tree from two sides keeping it securely in place because it gets very windy where i live other than that that's about it like i said if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave a comment i'll try to help out as much as i can and this should cost you about 200 dollars instead of spending thousand and up have a good day